Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Jumping Jacks. Uh, today we're going to be doing some hockey edits so we can up your Instagram game if you're a hockey fanatic or if you just want to make yourself some really cool edits for you or your teammates. This is how we do it. Um, so first what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making one of uh, one of our guys here. Uh, so we're going to go into iMovie um, and what we do first um, is we we go in and we get our background, an image that we would like. We also get an image of a player in front of a green screen, preferably, just so it's easier and it blends very well. Um, then we go into iMovie and we're going to take our background and we're going to click Fit so it doesn't condense the image at all. And then we want to go ahead and drag our image in. Um, this one we're going to be using right here. So we're going to drag this one right on top of this one. And we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to go ahead and hit Fit so the image doesn't crop out at all. And once you have them perfectly aligned up like this, um, what you want to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and click on the um, top image right here. We're going to go up to this little icon up here. We're going to pull down this to green and blue screen. Click that. It usually takes a second or two. And then what we're left with is our image on top of our background image. So you can go ahead and cut out any part that you want. Um, of the top image, um, but in this case we're going to leave the full image. So once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and click off that and we're going to do a screen um, crop of this or a screen capture. So we're going to go ahead and hit Command Shift 4. So this allows us to take a, a screenshot of the screen here and we're going to drag it over the image that we see before us here. So that should in theory capture that image. And then we'll go ahead and exit out of iMovie because we no longer need it. So then we're left with uh, the background image with our main um, point of focus image left here. But we're not done here. We're going to make this look a little cool. So I like to use a website. It's called Pixlr. Um, it's like an online editor. You don't need to go out and buy Photoshop. This is a free, free use website for editing and stuff. So you can do... Tons of things on here. You can edit tons of images, add text, remove colors, um, pretty much everything that Photoshop does. Um, this is like the desktop version here, so this is like the more in-depth one. But we're not going to be using this one today, so we're going to go ahead and hit back. And we'll just go into uh, the main website here, Pixlr. So you can use a web app. They have a mobile app. If you drag down here, you get the Pixlr editor and the Pixlr Express. We're going to use the Pixlr Express today because it is very easy to use and uh, it will save a lot of time for anybody trying to do this. So we're going to go ahead and drag our uh, photo that we just created here out of iMovie into here so we have the image with the background here. Then we're going to spice this up and we're going to make it look a little cool so we're going to go ahead and hit adjustment and there's this little icon here that says splash so that goes ahead and pulls all the color off the image so you're left with black and white. It looks really cool. And then we go ahead and we hit brush. So by hitting brush, this is going to be bringing color back into the photo. Um, so we want to go ahead and adjust a nice brush size here as we color this in. Um, you can see when you're going around the image, you want to try to keep as crisp of a line. Um, it is hard to do so on a Mac. Um, so that's why they have the eraser feature on this. Just so, as you can see, the blue from the main image is kind of leaking through um, when you go outside of what you're trying to just pull the color out of. So in this case, our focal point is going to be the player. So we're just trying to bring the red and the yellow and the black out of the jersey as well as the gloves and make this player look like he really pops in this photo, which is kind of cool. So as we're doing this, you just want to keep note of where you're blue is just um, around the gloves there as you can see. In this case I'm trying to do like not the greatest job. Um, if I was taking my time this would be very easy and you could get through this without as many mistakes but in this um, case of this educational video we're just going to be leaving some blue there so I can go ahead and use the eraser to touch that up and show you guys how it can be fixed if you do have this problem while you're doing it. So again when you're doing this Try to keep a steady hand as possible. Try to keep in the lines of whatever image you're trying to focus on. So in this case, the player, just make sure that um, you're not trying to pull the blue out of the background. Just try to keep it as smooth as possible. 
but if you do pull it out, um, don't worry because the eraser, as shown in a second here, we will uh, we will fix it. So as we go ahead and do this, um, so that's about good for for right now. Um, just to show you, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the eraser tool at the bottom here. And we're gonna downsize the brush size just a bit so we can fix all this blue that I'm going over. So we'll slim this down a bit so it's a little easier to control. And if we do go back into where we've just colored, um, then it will be not as noticeable. So as you can see, it's removing the blue from the original image background. So we're gonna keep the black and white so it looks cool. So this normally just takes just a couple seconds to do. This is a lot easier than uh, the coloring in part, just because when you go back over this with a smaller brush, it does uh, take just a few seconds just to touch up. So here we go. This obviously isn't going to be perfect. I'm trying to do this in a timely, timely manner so everybody can kind of get a, uh, a hold on how to do this fairly quickly. So we go ahead here. And as you can see, it just cleans up the blue. It makes it look a lot nicer. And then you can go back in, get your brush. See this little line right here on the shoulder? You can touch that up so it's very crisp and red. Um, keeps the player, again, on the shoulder here too. On the face, just make sure that you're not leaving out anything on the player. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of blue here that I'm going to leave just because I'm trying to get this done fairly quick. So we go around the player here. I'm going to hit Apply. And then we're going to go into... Once you're out of here, you're going to go ahead and add an image. So in this case, um, this hockey team happens to be sponsored by Nike. So we're going to go ahead and get the Nike team logo. Um, I have this set, saved on my edits folder here. We're going to pull that out so I can show you how to use it. So we go hit browse. You're going to click on that image that we just dragged out. It'll pop up. So then you can resize it wherever you'd like to put it. In this case, I'm going to put it down here just for the sake of the video. Um, normally I will put it up top, but um, for this I'll just keep it here. You want to downsize the opacity to about 40 so then it's see-through. It kind of keeps the, the bold image of the image that you just added, but it just seems to blend with the photo a lot nicer. And then when we go ahead and add our text, I like to use Destroy or Boycott. Those are two really good ones for this type of edit. Um, so boycott, for example, um, we'll just use jumping jacks uh, just to keep some privacy. So here we go, jumping jacks. And you can put the player's name and last name. I like to put the player's name a little smaller than what you would put the last name, um, just so it gives that effect. So once you have your name in there, you want to make it dark, and then you're going to bring the opacity down again to where it's barely see-through, so it's about 40, it's about right there. So it just kind of can barely be seen, but it looks very nice and it blends nicely with the photo. So then we go back in and I'll use uh, Gesso, I believe it's called, and we'll use 2018, or I guess because we are doing a hockey edit, um, we will get rid of 2018 and we will just, uh, we'll make this 18, I believe. Yeah, we'll make this 18 just for, because it is a hockey edit. Um, and there can only be two numbers, so we'll go ahead and we'll do this 18. We're going to do the same thing with the color, so we're going to go to the color. We're going to make it black, and we're going to do the exact same opacity as what we did just up top. And once we do so, then you're left with a fairly nice hockey edit. So this can be used for Instagram. You can iCloud, or uh, you can airdrop it to your phone. Um, I'm just going to name this edit so we can just demonstrate how it's um, exported. Saved in 100% quality. You don't want your image looking fuzzy or anything. And once you're done that, then you have a beautiful edit that you can put on your Instagram or your team page. Um, and yeah, it just looks a lot better than what you would have had with uh, the blue there. But definitely, if you wanted the blue, you could leave it. I just like this type of edit just because it looks cool. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already done so, go subscribe to us on Instagram, uh, at Jumping Jacks, or at Official Jumping Jacks, should I say. And we'll catch you on the next one.